This is a brief video on how to use the repair times feature built into Garage Hive Business Central uh, using Autodata's uh, repair times. This feature is available through job sheets, estimates, and VHCs. And in this example, we're going to use an estimate to do the uh, repair times. Now, you must have a vehicle registration number and a customer um, number on the document before you run the repair times. You also need to make sure that the vehicle data is Garage Hive's data. So if we've imported your data from a previous system, you are probably going to need to run a VRM refresh um, for all today to work. Now, on all these documents, you have a lookup button in the action bar, and this is where you'll find update VRM and repair times. In this case, I've already run the VRM update, so now we're just going to do repair times. Select repair times. It's recommended that you pin the action bar. Uh, you'll notice that I'm already in the menu. Uh, so you can have a go through the categories like you would rec uh, recognize from Autodata. So for example, I can go to brakes, foot brakes, uh, select, remove and install front brake pads. And then at the top, again, I recommend that you pin the action bar, click on add lines to job sheet. And you'll see it actually adds the labor line and it will add the predefined uh, part number as well. So in this example, we've got the wrong part number selected, but you, you get the point. Uh, likewise, there is also a search function. So if I go back and actually search, I can search for clutch, for example. Uh, remove and install compressor clutch. There's not actually a clutch, automatic gearbox, but in this case, we select here, add lines to job sheet. Go back to the job sheet, and again, you can see it's added the labor line and the part as well. So that's just a very quick example of how to use the repair times uh, within GarageHive. Any questions, please let me know.